guys, today I'm going to be doing a full face of new Physicians Formula products, or like 95% Physicians Formula products. They've released a ton of new stuff recently. If you missed my foundation review of their brand new foundation, I will link to that down below. It has a wear test, flash photo test, and then I also have some blog posts linked down below with swatches and a little bit more in-depth information on these products with swatch comparisons of the foundation and bronzer if you're trying to figure out if these shades may work for you. Most of these products are pretty brand new. They're all available on their website for purchase. If you live in Canada, I think the shipping is a little bit pricey to Canada, but a lot of these products are launching at the drugstore, so just keep your eyes peeled. Drugstore launches always launch in such a sporadic way, but I have seen a lot of these products here in Canada. In addition to that, you can purchase from Ulta. I've bought from Ulta before, had a good experience, paid duties beforehand, so if you are really looking to get your hands on the products, that's kind of an, the easiest way to go about it. But let's go ahead and get started. I've got like a hundred thousand tabs open up on my computer. So so the first few items that I want to mention are actually a skincare items and quick background information on Physicians Formula. If you didn't know, it was started by a doctor, I think in the 60s, now don't quote me on this, but his wife had lupus and he wanted to create products that wouldn't aggravate her skin because it was incredibly sensitive and they've kind of held to that over the years. So the first items that I want to mention are these two sticks and I think that these are super cool. They both retail for $9.95 on their website. The first is the Charcoal Detox Stick and I think that this is genius for travel. Basically, it's exactly what it says it is. It's a charcoal stick. I, I've used it just drawing it on my dry skin. I've used it in the morning or I've used it after I've removed my makeup. Then you just kind of draw it on your skin. You go in with a little bit of water and it kind of lathers up a little bit. It doesn't get super soapy, but it feels really good on the skin, especially if you have oily skin. You can also use it as a treatment, kind of like a mask. So I think it's really, really convenient. You can wash the stick off after if you're kind of feeling a little bit grossed out by that. I feel no way about it, but I think that it is really interesting, especially convenient for travel if you have oily skin, because I've mentioned this before, but I feel like travel size products are always super like hydrating and creamy, and sometimes you want just like that regular kind of more charcoal feeling that you may be using at home. The other item that I think is super interesting and that I'm going to rub on my eyes right now is the refreshment. It is so hard not to say physician's formula because everything I talk about today is obviously physician's formula. <laughs> this is the refreshment cucumber and bamboo eye depuffer. Again, in a stick format retails for $9.95 and feels incredible it, it really does feel refreshing it says refreshment but I don't really smell a ton of mint it more has like a cucumbery scent like a really fresh mint it doesn't smell like gum it doesn't like burn the eyes or anything it has a really cooling texture I've tried products like this before and this is a really affordable way to have it I just keep it on my vanity you could use it at night you could keep it in your bag if you're like not wearing makeup and just rub it under your eyes and I think that it is a really really nice item and pretty unique to the drugstore so for some of their newer products they've gone with this kind of like rose gold packaging rose infused items and I think that they are just beautiful the first is the scrub and this is the, what's it called in English, Organic Rose Oil Lip Polish. So this is a really nice lip scrub. I don't, I don't think it's the best lip scrub I've ever used, but it definitely is a good one and it definitely feels quite thick. So I rubbed it on my lips before the video, kind of rubbed it in and I didn't feel like I needed to remove it from my lips. So it's kind of like a scrub slash balm. It's something that you could use at night. It's something you could use as lip prep. You do get quite a bit of product in here as well. So I feel like it would last a while and it does look really, really pretty. Then they also have, which I'm gonna put on my face right now. This is the Rose All Day Oil Free Serum to brighten and tighten. And the packaging for this is just gorgeous. It has a little bit of a kind of rose hue to it and like a slight amount of iridescence, but no bits of glitter in there. The second ingredient in there is rose water. It also has dimethicone, so it could be used as a makeup prep item. And then there's also glycerin in there, which can be good for your skin. It is oil-free and has antioxidants in there. So I do find it absorbs quite quick into my skin. I haven't played around with it a ton, but it can also be used if you have a more dry skin type or if you prefer this kind of look, if you, before you've set your face, you can put a little bit on the tops of your cheekbones as well because it does have that bit of iridescence and kind of reflect in there. It does absorb really nicely, doesn't feel heavy on the skin or anything like that. So I have been enjoying it. Getting into the makeup, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin. This is their Spotlight Illuminating Primer and you would have seen me use this in the review of their new foundation. I put it on half my face and I was actually quite pleasantly surprised. 
I really did feel like it helped to blur my skin and if you know me you know that I have quite oily skin and I'm not huge on primers nor am I huge on like illuminating bases so I was like this is gonna be a huge disaster but I actually felt like it did a really nice job smoothing my skin it didn't make it greasy it isn't however oil free like you'll see it adds quite a shine to the skin that is why I was so scared about it but it actually didn't turn out to be a disaster and I actually did kind of like the result. One thing I will say though is that the packaging, um, albeit it's gorgeous, I can see on the lid here that a lot of the kind of nice rose goldy ombreness has started to wear away. Not the end of the world and I'd rather pay less and just, you know, have a packaging that's not going to hold up forever. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart, it's just like the, the kind of pretty part is starting to get a little bit weird. But I, and I also haven't tried the Becca Backlight Primer, but I feel like this is a similar idea, kind of like this blurring, illuminating thing. And I know I look so shiny, but we will sort it out. <laughs> and it, it feels really good and kind of um, smooth on the skin. The item that I was the most intrigued, surprised, and excited by is their new foundation. And this is the Healthy Foundation. This is, again, an item that I did not think was going to work for me, but I have been absolutely loving this. The more that I wear it, the more that I like it. And I'm just so happy to see that they have finally expanded from like light beige, beige to medium beige to having 16 different shades. There is, uh, if you go on their website, there's a big, I'm just looking at the kind of um, matrix that they have there, but they have light, medium, and dark, and then within that they show you the different undertones, which makes it a little bit easier to pick out your foundation, and a lot of you were commenting on how beautiful the bottle was and how it kind of looks like Dior, and it really is nice. It does have a large doe foot applicator in there, which I know a lot of people are not huge on. If you don't like that, you can always pour it out onto your hand and put it on your face. I know it's a little bit inconvenient, but if you did want to skip the doe foot applicator, that is a good way to go. So let me just get real cute here and tuck my ear tuck my ears behind my hair tuck my hair behind my ears I'm going to put this on I think that this just has such a natural finish on the skin but still wears really nicely like it's not the most matte foundation ever I feel like this is great for normal combo skin even potentially dry like it might just be one of those kind of unicorny foundations I like to call them that just lasts so nicely on the skin and if you have a more oily skin type like mine you may just want to use something like a mattifying primer mattifying setting powder i do that pretty much any day anyways today i'm using like a ton of glowy products because i want to show you them all in action and kind of chat my way through but i did however like this when i did wear it with that primer which really shocked me so that's what one light layer looks like there and it probably does look a little bit more glowy right now because of that primer but I am going to set everything down. That's the only thing I don't have today is any Physicians Formula powders to set my face. Also Physicians Formula is cruelty free. This foundation itself is actually vegan. A lot of their products are vegan. The majority of them if not all are hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic. If you go on their website they just list like all the things that they're not <laughs> and it's a lot. This foundation also has things like hyaluronic acid. There is some kind of like like Chinese herb in there which is supposed to be good, antioxidants, SPF 20, so it is supposed to be good for your skin as well. That is why it's called the healthy foundation. It's supposed to give you like a healthy look to your skin but also improve it as well which seems to be really popular. Let me know if you have tried this. I feel like it's only just kind of launching now um, but let me know if you've tried it. I haven't seen a ton of people talking about it. So this next product isn't brand new, but it is kind of new to me because they I got this at a Physicians Formula event last year and I had all intentions to, to do a full face of Physicians Formula, but they did not have a bronzer, blush, highlight, or foundation that worked for me. So here we are. They have all of those things now, thankfully. So I'm going to be using this concealer. It claims to be a full coverage concealer. I'm wearing it in the shade medium today and this is the darkest shade. So that is a super bummer. I'm hoping that now that they're on the the um being more inclusive bandwagon or trend or movement whatever it is that they come out with more shades of this because i actually quite enjoy it it is one of the more full coverage uh concealers at the drugstore for whatever reason maybe they're going to be making a comeback like brow products and highlights at the drugstore but i find concealers just don't give me that coverage that I like from the drugstore without being super cakey and heavy or they just don't have the lasting power and I find this has actually been one of my favorites. It's definitely not as full coverage as like a shape tape or something but definitely up there. I brought you in a little closer for the brow and lash portion of the video and if you can see up close now I think my skin looks 
incredible. It looks super smooth. The coverage is beautiful. I've got a lot of active breakouts on my skin right now, a lot of scarring, and it just still looks natural. Doesn't feel heavy, cakey, or look that way either. But for the brows today, we are using the Brow Last Long Wear Brow Gel. And this is quite a bizarre product. So you're getting a spoolie here, which I always appreciate in any brow product. But then on the other side, you're getting an angled brush, which is covered in the product. This is supposed to have vitamins in there, which is supposed to be good for conditioning your brows and it's supposed to have a really nice lasting power. I have only, oh, oh, oh. I have only used this two times, however, because I don't love it that much. I definitely like a brow pencil or a pomade more. It's not that this is bad, it's just kind of, I think brows and mascara and just, I don't know, makeup in general, obviously, but people have really, really different brows and really different preferences of how they like them to look or how much time they wanna spend on them, whatever it may be. I had no problem with the lasting power of this. I almost felt like I didn't even really need to use a brow gel after the fact, cause it kind of sets in place. I still do, cause I like to use a brow gel to further shape them, but it does have hold, it has nice color. The only, my issue with it is that I feel it's like a little bit messy because you're like dipping back in here and you're getting quite a bit of product. Then you kind of have to wipe it on the sides and like, I just don't want to do that. But I, I do like the end result and I do think it has good lasting power. It's just not what I would generally reach for. So I'm just doing a little cleanup. That's the thing I find is it's just a little bit messy and I definitely like a fluffy, more like voluminous brow. So if you do something that's a lot more um, cleaned up and really, really sleek, is that a good word to describe a brow? Maybe <laughs> this may be a better product for you, but I like mine to be a little bit more messy. So when I'm kind of combing them and trying to mess them up, I find the product gets moved around a lot. Um, but like I said, it does have good hold and good color, but it just for me is a little bit messy. So let's move on to the mascara. This is the Killer Curves Mascara. I have mentioned this, I think, in a Get Ready With Me before. And this has, again, vitamins, um, peptides, all that good stuff in there to nourish your lashes but for me this is a bit of a miss again like i said mascara is so hard like i think mascara is what divides people the most i don't know <laughs> but i just don't find it does a ton for me I, I don't think it does anything bad like i have quite dark long and curly lashes so it doesn't take much for my lashes to look decent but i want my lashes to look insane because i don't really wear false lashes ever i have like maybe 10 maybe 10 times in my life so i really heavily depend on mascaras so and like physician's formula isn't exactly um super glamorous tons of lash tons of glitter tons of um like really over the top so it is I wouldn't say like a natural looking brand but they definitely don't go for like the over the top thing and this definitely does not give me over the top lashes so the moment you have been waiting for the question I have been getting so much over the past month I haven't even been mentioning a physician's formula and people are commenting on my video being like what's the deal with the new deep bronzers <laughs> the butter products have been out for some time now but if you are of a deeper skin tone I would consider this a new item to physician's formula they really the blushes those were super super pale the bronzers came first I believe also super pale even people who are pale are like I can only use this in the winter so those were never ever on my radar but I was always so curious because people had such great things to say about them and a matte or kind of satin finish bronzer and blush at the drugstore that's great is kind of few and far between. So they have released two more shades of their butter bronzer, which is so incredibly exciting. And I was so excited to see them. I went to the launch event for a lot of these. If you followed me on Instagram, you would have seen it there. It's just at Samantha Jane YT. But today I'm going to be using the bronzer in the shade deep bronzer. Now this is the deepest bronzer. So kudos to them for releasing more bronzers. Absolutely pleased so glad to hear it so glad i finally have a freaking butter bronzer that i can use that being said <laughs> there's a caveat to this if you are any deeper than me you won't be able to use this i'm about an nc42 at mac maybe if you're a smidge deeper but i don't think so i think with a tan i won't be able to use this so they need more shades um they need more shades so I'm hoping that they release more shades. This is a start, a great start. Glad that they're thinking about it. Glad they are trying. Really glad, <laughs> glad. 
Um, and I do, if you're curious just about the bronzer in general, about my thoughts on Butter Bronzer, I think it's incredible. It's really, really soft, really blendable, has a bit of a satin finish, a little bit powdery, but still pigmented. It is buildable, quite strongly scented, but you probably already knew that. Has like a vacation scent. I love the finish on my skin. It's one of my favorite drugstore bronzers, but I just want everybody to be able to try it. Um, and I was at their event actually, I said to their team, to the Physicians Formula team, you know, I said this exact same thing and, and I'm not afraid to say it and, and it's not a burn on the brand. I'm not trying to expose or whatever. Like I'm literally just giving them my feedback as somebody who gets your feedback and I want to pass it along to them. And I said, you know, this bronzer is beautiful. I'm so glad that you guys did it, but I swatched it on my skin just to show her and on the back of my hand, cause my face is a little bit lighter. It doesn't even really show up that much. So I wasn't even sure if this was going to work on my skin until I put it on. So you can see definitely bronzed add definition. It's stunning. It's so pretty. So I just said like, you know, keep it in mind that, you know, we would still love to see even more shades for even deeper skin tones. Um, but if you are my skin tone or a little bit deeper, a little bit lighter, this definitely is a beautiful bronzer. They also have one that's just a smidge down from this. So there's now four shades in the range and I love it. So as I have mentioned, they released two more shades of their butter blush, which is exciting because the first two again were super pale. This one that I'm going to be using today is in the shade Vintage Rouge and I love this. It kind of reminds me of like a MAC copper tone, a little bit lighter or like a kind of like a... I don't know, not like a tart exposed, but just kind of like peachy and light. Doesn't look like much in the pan, but it's really beautiful on the cheeks. These are a beautiful blush, super long wearing on the cheeks. They do have that same te texture as I mentioned for the butter bronzer, kind of soft, but satiny, really, really nice. Some of the best drugstore blushes that are out there, I think. The packaging on all of the butter products or the blushes and bronzers are all a little bit bulky but the product itself is great. In keeping with the butter theme, moving on to the highlights. These also are awesome, really crazy texture. They feel wet, but they're like a powder. I think if you don't set your face and you have a more dry skin type, you could easily use this with your finger on the top of your cheekbones. I'm gonna use a more dense brush today, and I'm using the shade Champagne, which is the gold, so if you like that kind of typical gold highlight, this is really beautiful. There are five shades in the range. They most recently released this shade here that I have swatched on my hand. I don't know if you can see it, it's in the shade iridescence which has some purple in it so if you like like kind of a more fun highlight that's a great option but these because they have that wet like look at that they have an odd texture so a brush or like your tool maybe something you need to consider in application i also think you could use your fingers but they're not hard to work with. I find them easier to work with than the ColourPop. I do not like the ColourPop uh, highlights or I haven't really, like I bought one and then I was like, mm, no. So these are different to me than those. Similar idea, but these to me are easier to use and they're incredible. To finish it off, I'm gonna be using their The Healthy Lip Lipstick. This is described as a velvet finish, has kind of like a moussey texture. Essentially, it's a liquid lipstick. Reminds me sort of of the ColourPop Satin Lips, dries down a little bit more matte than that, quite comfortable. I'm gonna be using the shade Nutritious today. There are 13 shades in the range. They have that packaging similar to the foundation as it's a part of like that healthy range. Looks quite expensive in my opinion. These retail for $7.95 on their website. Uh, I like the applicator. I think they have good wear time. I don't think that they have the longest wear time, but because you're not getting the longest wear time ever, you are getting a little more comfort, which I think is really important. And I found it's very hard to apply liquid lipstick <laughs> when you're talking, but what I've found is when I've worn this and um, I've gone to like breakfast to kind of test it out, I find it almost changes texture as like the oils mix with it. It becomes a little bit softer and wears away as opposed to crumbles off or just disappears in the center. So you can almost kind of like mush your lips together and bring it back to life a little. It's interesting. And this is a great shade. They have a ton of different shades, brights, nudes, deeps. Uh, I'm really happy with this one too. This was the first product actually I saw. I saw it at Shoppers Drug Mart like in December and I was like, Canada? What's going on? Why do we have new stuff here? What's happening? So there you have it. That is some of the newness from Physicians Formula. I kind of chatted my way through what I liked and what I didn't like, but standouts for me, the healthy foundation, the healthy lip, all of the butter products, 
I like the charcoal stick. I really like just about everything. The only misses for me for sure were the mascara and the brow product and yeah, I'm pretty impressed with all of it and the wear time on all of it is good. It's not, this is not my first time using any of these products. Uh, so I really do enjoy these. So let me know what you are intrigued to try, what you have tried so far. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.